So let's begin with our topic of the day. I'm going to share my screen so you can uh, see that, see our presentation. Okay, I'm screen sharing and let's put this on a big theater style. There we go. Don't you love that green? I do. Okay, so Again, the topic is what to use in the morning and night for simple, effective skincare. Again, my name is Nancy, Nancy Reamer, and I'm the Director of Education and Training for Reviva Labs. And I don't believe I said it, but I'm going to say it now. At the end, I'm going to take questions. So I know some of you have already used the chat box. That's great. Um, just type your questions as you think of them, and I'll address them at the end of the presentation. So here we go. <clears throat> Oh, no. Okay, so if you don't know much about Reviva, uh, we are a 45 plus year old brand. We started in 1973 uh, with our founders, Judith and, and uh, Stephen Strassler, and they had just one goal in mind, and that was to create safe, effective skincare treatments that produce visible results at a, at a reasonable price. Um, a little side note there, Stephen Strasser was the first esthetician, male esthetician in the United States in 1973. So since that time, we have really established ourselves as a superior natural skincare brand. And we've just attracted um, customers that just go for generations, um, which is really nice because everybody knows that we're really committed to using only the highest quality effective ingredients, some of which we'll talk about today. Um, and product, products that are suitable for all skin types. If you have a challenge, a concern, a problem with your skin, you see us. We, we I'm sure, have something for you. <clears throat> so, so let's talk a little bit about day and night. And um, uh, the title of this slide, <laughs> I like it. It's beauty rest. It's a real thing. You really, it makes a difference what you use on your skin for daytime versus at nighttime. So the skin as the largest organ of the body is very much affected by the circadian rhythms, your sleeping rhythms. Um, stem cells, stem cells in the epidermis, which is right up here. Um, see, this, this is really where a lot of the cells come from, right here. I'm surprised it's not really listed in this diagram. <coughs> But that's the dividing line between the epidermis and the, and the dermis. Um, but the stem cells in the epidermis reproduce mainly at night. And they create new skin cells that are there to replace the aged skin cells. Skin cells that are ready to just be sloughed off on the surface of the skin. And they help to reduce the appearance of aging. So stem cells are responsible for collagen and elastin production. Uh, keratinocytes, which is a large skin cell that, that really um, does, uh, it replaces all the skin cells up here. So all this is happening at night when the regeneration of the cells um, as your body is regenerating. And as a result of that regeneration, your skin is better able to absorb topical treatments at night. So let's dig in a little further. So since your skin is both rejuvenating itself at night and better able to absorb ingredients in the evening, it's a good thing to target very specific skin issues in your nighttime products, specifically inflammation that can be caused by UV exposure to the sun or pollution. Maybe you got a sunburn earlier that day. Your skin is going to be taking care of that at night as well as acne inflammation or rosacea. <clears throat> Another form of inflammation in the skin, typically around the nose area. Hyperpigmentation, dark spots, dullness of skin. Again, skin will be working on that at night. Collagen and elastin support and replenishment of hydration um, is important to all. If you can target those specific issues at night, your beauty, <laughs> your beauty rest will be for, for um, a good cause. Okay, so let's dig in a little further. So daytime versus nighttime. So in the day, you wanna focus primarily on protecting the skin. That would be protecting it from moisture loss, um, overproduction of oil, um, which happens to more normal to oily and oilier skins during the day. They tend to accelerate that oil production. 
and exposure, you want to protect your skin from exposure to harmful environmental elements. Nighttime, as we just discussed, it's all about repair and renewal. So supporting your collagen elastin, maintaining that moisture and reducing inflammation and accelerating the brightening to your skin. So let's look a little bit at what we have for date effort to do this. Um, in terms of the cleansing category, I don't know if many of you know, but um, at Reviva, we, we have eight different collections, we call them, um, from anti-aging, brightening, firming, revitalizing. So I've just cherry-picked from each of those collections, and so you'll see various colors associated with those collections in the product packaging here. Um, so I'd, I would encourage you to go to our website and take a closer look at all the products that are in each of those collections, and I'll try to call them out as I see them. So glycolic cleanser and glycolic toner are, are both part of our anti-aging collection, but it goes beyond that. Um, and again, these cleansers can be used day or night. So the glycolic, glycolic acid is basically an alpha hydroxy acid sourced from sugarcane that accelerates um, the renewal of skin. So it helps your skin slough off dead skin cells and bring in the fresh new ones. Um, the glycolic cleanser is a very creamy formula, um, but it gently cleanses the skin and provides that mild exfoliation. And then you follow up with the toner. Um, so the glycolic cleanser has 4%, 4.2% glycolic acid in the cleanser and 3% in the toner. So you're getting a, a good amount of that at that um, alpha hydroxy to really uh, refresh the skin. And the toner um, provides that just that little extra cleansing, um, but it's enriched with emollients like hyaluronic acid, aloe vera, and allantoin, all that help to um, soothe the skin and um, the P and also this uh, toner helps your pH balance. So if your skin is pH balanced, it better receives all products that are put on top of it. Now, again, this is a great, is in our anti-aging category, but it's great for um, all skins. And in particular, skins that may be a little bit troubled with acne. Um, again, because it provides that mild exfoliation. Another product that I would recommend for all skins, but in particular for um, acne prone skins would be the charcoal gel cleanser. It uses bamboo charcoal to detoxify the skin during the cleansing process. And it also minimizes pores. And that's one of the challenges that I find that most normal to oily and oilier skins have is the large pores because um, it's there to accommodate the oil production that naturally happens in their skin but you want to minimize the look of those pores. This is sulfate free and it is chalk filled with botanicals like calendula and red clover and um, aloe vera. Again, so it makes a very gentle process of detoxifying and cleansing the skin. On the other spectrum, we have the cleansing milk, generally preferred by normal and um, drier skins. Uh, but it, 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 this can be used by anybody, but I just feel like just the consistency of it would probably be uh, better preferred by somebody who's a little bit drier. It is in our hydrating category. Um, this cleanses, but it, your skin feels so fresh. And what I like about it, I'm a normal skin, but I like to use this in the wintertime, um, is my skin feels very soft and supple after using this. I, I, you know, I feel clean, but I don't feel like my skin is in strict. Um, and it also is an excellent makeup remover. So if you wear foundation or powder during the day, it's great for removing that. So again, these cleansers can be used daytime or nighttime. So continuing on the daytime routine, serums that protect and prevent. Again, daytime is all about moisture loss and uh, protection for the skin and trying to control oil if you have it. So let's talk about hyaluronic acid serum, our number one seller. Number one has been for years. Um, this helps to bind and retain moisture of the skin. It soothes infl uh, inflammation or redness in the skin with green tea and aloe extract. It just helps to smooth out the fine lines. You would just use two to three drops of this underneath your moisturizer after your cleanse, and it will help to retain that moisture for you throughout the day. Dual Source C Serum 
is two sources of vitamin C, which helps to protect, as you know, vitamin C is an antioxidant, so it's gonna help protect from environmental damage during the day, but the added bonus of vitamin C is it helps to brighten your skin as well. So you get a little bit of a brightening effect throughout the day, but mostly it's there to combat future damage to your skin. Swiss apple stem cell serum um, is in our anti-aging category as well probably generally preferred by a little bit more mature skin. Um, it's a creamy serum. So again, you don't need much, just two, two drops, two to three drops if you wanna bring it down to your neck and your chest area. But this will help to decrease and, um, the look of fine lines and wrinkles throughout the day, as well as help your skin retain and, um, and improve moisture content. Um, and if there's a question about what, if I wanna use, let's say you say, but Nance, I wanna use a hyaluronic acid serum and Swiss apple stem cell serum. How do I do that? How do I use two serums? Well, hyaluronic acid serum and the dual source C serum are both gel-based. They're, they're a little thinner. So you always wanna use the thinnest serum first, let that dry down, then apply something like the Swiss apple, which is a little bit, as I mentioned, creamier. Um, you can absolutely use two at a time. Just use the lightest first, lightest to heaviest, let it dry down in between, or the simple solution is really using daytime and nighttime, but I have a whole nother set of serums that I want to use at night. Um, so daytime, I would use either one of the hyaluronic or the dual source C serums first, then follow with the Swiss apple. Okay, moisturizers. Moisturizers that protect and prevent your skin throughout the day from moisture loss and from um, damage. The antioxidant skin smoothing cream, unbelievable. It's just, it is, has a complex of super antioxidants as I've written there. Alpha lipoic acid, vitamin C and E, which independently are very good antioxidants, but used together, they're stronger. So you have vitamin E and C, green tea, resveratrol, um, <clears throat> all soothing and brightening the skin, and niacinamide. Now, keep that word in mind. You will see it repeated throughout this presentation. This is an ingredient that we've taken the opportunity as we've been tinkering with some of our formulations, mostly with the preservative systems and changing those out for old uh, preservative systems for new. Uh, we've taken the opportunity to add niacinamide because it is great antioxidant. It's a form of vitamin B3, but it, it does a lot of things, but in particular, it, it helps to brighten the skin. Um, this product, the antioxidant skin smoothing uh, cream, also what I love about it, it just gives your skin a nice healthy glow. It's got the barrage oil, rose hip, fruit oil, flaxseed oil, lavender essential oil. So I know my skin is getting the hydration it needs plus the protection. Alpha Lipoic Vitamin C Ester DMA E Cream was formerly a night cream. We've uh, um, made the formula a little less heavy. So it can be, certainly you can use this at night too, but you can absolutely use it in the daytime because it's a much lighter formula. So it doesn't feel heavy uh, throughout the day. But it too is precisely blended with antioxidants. It leans a little bit more towards firming and brightening than maybe the previous moisturizer did. But since it has a DMAE for firming and toning, um, but it has the alpha lipoic and the vitamin C as well for brightening and, and um, antioxidant protection. Um, plus, if you look at the third bullet point there, the palmitoid uh, tripeptide 5, that is a peptide that helps support collagen production and CoQ10, which is another uh, potent antioxidant. Ultra-rich, ultra-light daytime moisturizer with vitamin C. Again, each of these <laughs> moisturizers has that vitamin C in it, working to brighten and protect your skin throughout the day. <clears throat> this is just as it says. It's light in texture, but it has rich moisturizing benefits. I tend to use this when I travel, uh, when my, my skin is maybe more affected by moisture loss. Um, and I like the little bit of lactic acid it has in it, just gently exfoliating the skin and brightening it with the C and lactic acid. Um, again, this is, this is very similar. It, um, 
Well, I was going to say it's similar to the alpha lipoic acid, vitamin C, ester, DMAE cream in that it, 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 when you, when you put your, your hand into the cream, you're like, oh, wow, that's thick. And then you put it on and it's so thin. It, it's so, well, not necessarily thin, but you don't feel it. It's just the perfect amount of moisture for the day. All skins can use all of these products. If you're prone a little bit more towards um, dry skin, um, the Intercell Hyaluronic Acid Day Cream is the one for you. It does provide a nice amount of hyaluronic acid for your skin to retain and bind the moisture throughout the day so you don't lose the moisture. And it helps um, shield your skin and combat free radical and ultraviolet damage throughout the day. So, and speaking of ultraviolet damage, I would encourage you and in, in, in implore you, in fact, to make sure that you are using an SPF on top of all these moisturizers. So if that seems too heavy for you, you will enjoy the SPF Sun Protective Moisturizer Sunscreen that we have. Um, in this tube now, it's now in a tube, we've increased the amount of protection, but it is basically a moisturizer with protection very easily absorbed it's a greaseless formula um, again so if you don't if you can't use um, like personally I use the uh, the one of the um, antioxidant creams on the previous page first either the DMAE um, alpha lipoic or antioxidant um, smooth skin smoothing cream and then I follow with this the because I want the sun protection when I go out for my walks here in Southern California so, but on some days, I know it's just going to be too hot like today. So I will just use the SPF 30 moisturizer. So um, very lightweight and effective in protecting your skin. And that's what you need to do during the day. Eye creams. Yes, we need daytime and nighttime eye creams uh, or serums. Cannot say enough about this under eye dark circle serum. Have you tried this? Oh my gosh. It helps to reduce the appearance of severe under eye dark circles and discoloration. It helps uh, people who are troubled by allergies, computer screens that we're all staring at more these days. Um, anything that irritates the eye is gonna create eventually um, a darkness under the eye because we are rubbing our eyes and, it, and, and it's causing um, dark circles. So this will improve the overall appearance of tired, puffy eyes and it will help to firm the eyes with the DMAE and the peptides. Um, but the real heroes of this product are the, these final ingredients here. The N-hydroxy succinamide and chrysine. Those two ingredients together, together work on mopping up the excess blood residue that is left that is causing the dark circles. So they brighten the eye area, as does caffeine. And look, our, our new friend, the niacinamide, that helps to brighten this whole um, eye area as well. Cannot say enough about this, this serum. It really goes to work. And yes, you can use it at night. But I think um, just having something working daytime to under, you know, under my makeup to make sure that my eyes are staying as bright as possible um, is a good thing. The Eye Glee Serum is, is a real favorite um, also amongst our, uh, our customers. It helps to reduce puffiness, and it's a little bit more about puffiness and moisture giving than the dark circles. So that's where these two would differ, and you would need to make your, your decision. Um, it has a wonderful blend of herbal extracts. Um, including cucumber that helps to soothe the eye. So you can see the difference right away. The dark under eye circle says just what it does. And the eye glee is more about puffiness, dryness, um, soothing to the eye, which is also good for the daytime. So that's daytime. Nighttime, oh boy, here we go. This is where Reviva Labs really shines. Our, we just have so much to, <laughs> to offer. Serums that support and restore. Remember, body's at rest. You want it to have put on ingredients that are really going to work on your problem areas. So the uh, Peptide Facial Skin Prep Serum, lightweight serum, helps to restore uh, the skin with argireline, which is a peptide, helps to support uh, collagen production. 
But what I really like about it, it, it restores and re uh, rebalances the skin through using uh, minerals and trace minerals. So it stimulates the skin into regenerating itself. So two to three drops before a moisturizer and you're good to go. The Dark Spot Brightening Serum, this knocks it out of the park. This brightens and improves skin tone with eight. Eight different brighteners. I've only added three here in the presentation, but man, we just filled this little bottle with things that will bright, ingredients that will brighten your skin, including kojic acid, which is sourced either from mushrooms or rice fermentation, um, used for practically centuries for brightening. Oh, and there's niacinamide again. I tell you, this product is so versatile and so effective. Again, it's just a form of vitamin B3, and it brightens the skin in addition to other things. But in this particular um, product, we are using it for its brightening um, features. And our butin, that is <clears throat> sourced from the bay, bear, berry plant, actually from the leaf, and it's a natural brightener as well. And then we wrap it all into some soothing emollients for overall health of your skin. It's very quick absorbing, non-sticky. Can't say enough about this product. Two to three drops under a moisturizer and you will go to sleep and wake up brightened. DMAE Concentrate, as you can probably guess, this is about firming. <clears throat> this is our firming category in the green, um, but we have 5% of DMAE in this product. That's more than our competitors. So you are sure to get a tighter, firmer look to your skin um, when you wake up <laughs> um, and, and, and when your body's at rest too. It, 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 it better accepts all these firming in kinds of ingredients, including our high potency collagen serum. This is number eight in our top 10 bestseller. We use soluble collagen, which means it's broken down, so better able to absorb into the skin, and you get a much a soothe, a smoother look to your skin. We put some hyaluronic acid in there to increase the moisture content, but basically it's there to help the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So again, two to three drops of any of these at night um, before your moisturizers. Here are the moisturizers that support and restore. <clears throat> starting with the 10% glycolic acid uh, cream. I use this uh, about three to four nights a week. 10% of the glycolic acid. Remember, glycolic acid is the sugar cane, uh, source from sugar cane that helps to accelerate cell renewal. So you get an improved texture to your skin. You, you do, you wake up so smooth in the morning from this. And it, uh, it does help to keep blemishes under control because if you get this, rid the skin of the excess skin cells, they're not as likely to mix with the oil and clog your pores. So using this at night is, is a good thing. Um, kojic acid brightening cream, again, that's the kojic acid sourced from uh, mushrooms or rice fermentation that helps to reduce dark spots and discoloration. It brightens naturally and it's a really nice um, light oil base. Now you want to make sure that you use these two at night because um, not that you couldn't use them during the day, but I worry about sun um, interference. And here you are working so hard to brighten and to bring up the newest, freshest skin to, your, to the top layer of your skin, and then you expose it to sunlight. Not a good thing if you're not wearing um, a moisturizer or if you're staying out longer than your moisturizer can protect you. That's always a challenge too. So make sure you use these two at night. The multi-peptide complex, love this. It is just, filled with peptides that are going to strengthen my skin. Um, these are some of the most advanced peptides, and I swear if you bought this in any of the highfalutin stores, you would be paying way more than what we're, we're charging. Matrixol, Adoptophilin, Projuline, Senac, these are all standard and highly high-performing peptides. Um, that really help reduce, this is the nasolabial fold. If you look at my photograph here, uh, look at me in the, in the little square, right here, nasolabial fold. This is what tends to go first, right? That's why there's, we all do this in the mirror once in a while. So 
But this product actually goes to work right on this area as well as the whole face to help uh, the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. This is the other one I use at night. So I, I personally alternate between the 10% and the multipeptide complex, just giving my skin, you know, everything at night to support and restore it. More nighttime moisturizers, the hydroquinone brightening cream also helps to reduce the appearance of skin discoloration, just uses a different ingredient, 2% hydroquinone for lightening the skin. And you'll start to see the, the benefits of this product in about diminishing that uh, discoloration in about four weeks or maybe sooner, depending on your skin. Um, Elastin DMAE night cream, for those of you who are all about firming, um, this is, this is your moisturizer. It's, it's a concentrate. It's very moisturizing as well. Um, but it helps to firm and tone overnight. Um, and collagen night cream. This is a crowd favorite as well because it increases the skin's ability to hold moisture on that dry surface. And it uses the hydrolyzed, hydrolyzed collagen to support the growth. Um, and um, ultimately, your skin just looks firmer and smoother the next morning. That's another, another wonderful cream. Um, and eye serums for night. We have two different um, options for firming. The firming eye serum uses DMAE and peptides. And by now, you know those are two great firming and supportive collagen uh, elastin through the nighttime. Plus antioxidants, the alpha lipoic ester, vitamin C ester fight against the future damage. But it smooths the overall look um, too. Um, eye complex firming cream is part of our revitalizing collection. And that collection really is, what, what makes that collection tick is all the botanicals. It's, and this is, this is right in there. It contains herbal complex plant extracts that help to firm and, and improve circulation. Um, so if you're new to using something at night for your eyes, maybe you want to start with this. Um, not a lot of um, um, targeted ingredients other than just a basic great night serum to help with shadows, bags, crow's feet. Um, you know, I like to, yeah, then, then you can bump up to this, uh, <laughs> to the firming eye serum that, that really has all the bells and whistles that are go attacking uh, I, the eye area. So I don't know, depends on what you, what you're trying to accomplish or honestly it depends on how old you are and what you're seeing happen on your face. So sometimes I like to think of this eye a complex firming, uh, cream <clears throat> as something that to begin with. And then you bump up, like I said, to the firming eye serum. Try both out. See, we'll do, we'll do a zoom demo on them and, and you'll be able to decide for yourself. And my last slide, don't forget the basics in terms of day and night. Please wear sunscreen during the day. Take off your makeup at night. Man, oh man, nothing ages you more than wearing your makeup night after night. Ugh. And we all do it once in a while, but do not make a habit of it. Very aging to the skin. And start using eye cream now. Those are, so our, those are our three basic tips. So I'm going to stop this screen share at this point and see if there are any questions um, in the chat box. Now would be the time. Um, chat away. If you have any questions, uh, final questions for me, I'm just going to enlarge this a little bit. There we go. Oh, nope, now I can't see my chat box, sorry. Um, and I'll also take a minute to remind you of our, our, our Zoom demo, which is happening next week. I do believe tickets are still available. Again, it's just a matter of giving us time to send out the deluxe sample pro, um, samples to you that we'll be discussing. We will be um, sending dual source C serum, light skin peel, and uh, dark spot darkening, uh, brightening serum. Sorry, I'm reading my little note here. And the collagen revitalizing cream. Um, uh, we will definitely send out um, 
Yes, Pat, thank you for your question um, and thank you for the compliment. Uh, we can send out the, uh, the Zoom invite again. I'm assuming you mean to the, uh, the Zoom demo. I hope it's not um, too late to get the products, but um, we'll see. I, I, I don't know. I don't have my, my team on the line to tell me because I'm in, I'm in California and they're in New Jersey. So um, let, me, I, um, let me see. We'll try. Um, okay. I have another question here that's uh, from Karen. She works from home. I don't know. <laughs> I won't leave the house for noonish. Yeah, got, I understand that. Um, yes, the question is about washing your face at night, um, even if you haven't been outside or, or worn makeup. I would. You know, it's interesting. Uh, daytime, I've always been trained, um, like, waking up during the day, you can technically splash your face for it with some, some warm water, though I do like to use a, moist, uh, 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 a cleanser. Nighttime, no matter what you've done, I would use a cleanser. Um, there's, there's all, especially if you're more oilier skin, and I don't know if you are, Karen, but, but it, oil skin just tends to attract and make your skin a little bit more sticky. And certainly in the summertime, we're all experiencing that just because the sweat glands are so close to the... Um, the oil glands, so yeah, I would, I would definitely. And as I, as uh, those, oh, pardon, um, those cleansers that I discussed, particularly the glycolic acid, that's helping with um, um, uh, removal of skin cells. So I would definitely. You're getting a bonus there, exfoliation. So yes, yeah, okay. Um, any other questions? I'm happy to sit and chat. I wish I could see you guys. That's no fun. <laughs> gotten used to that with zoom right so all right um if there's no more questions thank you so much for joining me this morning and i hope you join me next month i've got my little schedule here next um month september 16th oh this is going to be great key ingredients that help prevent or correct skin damage so i'll go a little bit more into like kojic acid and my new favorite the niacinamide and others that we use in various products in Reviva Labs. That's really our forte. We, we are all about uh, targeted ingredients that work. So I hope you can join me. And um, um, just check our website for other Zoom demo dates as well. All right, guys, good to see you. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.